there, everybody. Welcome back to the Playing Trades and Comic Books channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to review Revolvers number one. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for Revolvers number one. It is a Top Cow Image comic, and it is by Zerplatin, Dabari, Go, and Patiri. We start off in the city of Detroit, where a policeman named Hampton Wales has come upon a crime scene. And he seems to be very affected by this, almost like he must know who the victim is. Then we get to earlier that day, where him and his partner Mike are about to join the SWAT team on a raid. And apparently they have gotten some information that there's a man who is trafficking girls from this location. And the man they're looking for has a nickname that is the Python, or La Piton. So they get all set up outside of the building, and the SWAT team goes to the door, and right as they break it in, the front door explodes, killing the SWAT members that were entering. And it turns out that the building is completely full of people, and the only police that left alive on the scene are Hampton and Mike. So instead of waiting for backup, they just run in. And as they go through all the different floors, shooting all the bad guys as they go, they find a lot of horrific things like people skinned alive and other stuff like that. So they finally get to the top of this building where La Pitone is waiting, and he tells Officer Hampton that he is cooperating and that he shouldn't shoot. But when Hampton tells him to put down the gun, La Pitone says that he's not allowed to put it down, but he is allowed to hand it over. So he walks over to Detective Hampton, and he holds out the gun to him. And that's where I'm going to stop it. I don't want to spoil anything else. So I picked this comic up because it looked kind of interesting. I hadn't heard much about it, but it said it was like a supernatural crime story. And that piqued my interest, so I thought I'd check it out. And just based on the cover and the description, I was pretty intrigued to see what the story was going to be. And I had never heard of any of the creators in this either, so I was going in pretty blind. I thought Zerplatzen, the writer, did a pretty good job. He was introducing us to a new world and had to set up a bunch of stuff. But I thought it was pretty entertaining overall. And one thing I liked is that he kind of made the city of Detroit its own character a little bit too. Though I will say that the story does seem similar to stuff I've read or seen before, but this did have a bit of a harder feel than those. Like there's a lot more violence and more messed up stuff that happens in this. So that little change kind of does keep you on your toes because you're not sure how far or where things are going to go. I thought the art was pretty good. It wasn't amazing or anything, but I thought it was serviceable for the story that they were trying to tell. It definitely has a gritty feel that fits with the atmosphere that they're trying to go for. So all in all, I thought this was a pretty good issue. It wasn't the best thing I ever read, but it was a good start to a series, and it did keep me questioning and left me wanting answers. So I'm going to give this book a 3 out of 5. It had some cool concepts and ideas within the story, even though the premise might not be the most original thing. So if you saw anything you like, definitely go pick that up at your local comic book store, and we will see you all in the next one.